Today, for the 2017 Christmas Ornament Challenge, we are making this ornament. It combines turning and casting and family memories of spending Christmas at the California okay, Beach. Okay, to get started on my Christmas Ornament Challenge project, I have got some nice cherry and I've drawn three circles. I'm going to start out trying to make three ornaments. Um, I just used my compass and I gauged the size of the circle on what will fit um, nicely into the jaws on Okay, you can Okay, so I got that cut out. I realized there's cracks on the end of this wood, so I'm not going to cut this one out. And as you can see, this blade's just too thick to make that tight of a radius. So I had to make a whole bunch of little okay, relief cuts. Okay, moving on. I got my dividers to about the size that this other chuck will expand into. And I put a mark on there. So now I'm going to hollow this out like it was a bowl. Okay, so this is crazy nerve-wracking for some reason. I keep going really, really slow, and I've turned it on and off and checked it and checked it and checked it. I'm like, I know there's metal behind there, so I don't want to go through it. Yeah, so I just get... And if you can hear that, that's kind of dull. I switched by bigger guns. Yep, that's making a better shaving too. Okay, so if you can see that. I made it down, I have about an eighth of an inch in the bottom of this, which is perfect, which is plenty. This is a cherry, by the way. It was cub cabinet maker cutoffs. Okay, now I've reverse chucked this on my jaws that expanded out a little bit. And I'm going to just grab my nice little bowl gouge and just clean up this edge. And I am getting in sort of close to this metal with my cut, just being really careful. And later I'm going to cut that off anyway. I just want this around here to have a really nice cut on it. Okay, now you can see I've got a little lip on here. And I actually decided this is a little bit too thick. Even though it fit nice for me to rechuck it, I'm going to make it look like this one, which I just thinned it down from. Okay, so I've got my little cups and a sand dollar that we got on the beach. And I'm going to try and suspend that about halfway in that cup. Hope it works. And then in this little cup, I've got two littler sand dollars. Okay, so I definitely need some more practice doing this, but this is awesome for the Christmas ornament challenge. I have a shell in here, and I will be opting to leave the back in because that one sunk to the bottom. And this one, where they're actually floating, I have some unclear junk here. Okay, so now the last thing I said is I'm going to take these 
And man, don't they look cool. And I'm gonna heat them up. Well, I did. But look what happened to this one. You can see it in there. It turned swirls on it. And the bottom half of it bucked and broke the seashell. It broke the sand dollar. So I have no idea how or why. Other than, there's my lesson. Don't take Alumalite Slow Clear and heat it. Okay, I just sharpened this. And I'm going to come across here with some really... Okay, now, put a shine, a glass-like shine on it. I'm going through my wet sanding micro mesh okay, pads. These are my micro mesh papers and I got them from a shop in Australia. Uh, timbers, timbers bits, timber bits. Nope, in hindsight I got it mounted up in there really darn close and I'm not going to cut the back of it off so it's going to have a wooden back. So all I'm going to do is go in here with the skew, clean that up just a tiny bit on the edge here. Nice. Okay, we're wrapping this up. We'll finish sanding. Now I put C8 glue on the side of this. I'm going to put just a little bit on here. Smooth it up. Call it good. Alright, look at that. I just put a C8 glue finish on it and burnished it a little bit. Alright, there's the ornament. This wraps up my Christmas ornament challenge from Carl Jacobson and Alan Stratton on YouTube for 2017. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm going to release a medium length version of this video uh, for people to watch and get more details. I'm going to show a few more steps on it. And then for people that either come to my website and buy the plans in the detailed video or support me on Patreon, I'm going to release a 30 to 40 minute video where I really go into detail on every single tool.